All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're in episode number 40 today, and in the last episode, we had someone who would not stop touching the ball no matter what I did. But I hope you guys enjoyed the series so far. We're in episode number 40, like I said, which is monumentous. And in this episode, I hope that we can make it into Grand Champion 2, which is the third highest rank in the game. So we're that much closer to Super Sonic Legend, and honestly, I think we can make it before 50 episodes. It looks like we're on, on track. We're still about a 200 MMR away, but, you know, we can make it pretty quickly. But for today, we're Fizzo, and I hope you guys enjoy this photo. It's quite a ridiculous one. I kind of took a different spin on it. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Honestly, keep, keep it up with all these recommendations. I have so many in the backlog, but... I'm loving reading these every day. It's so much fun to just go through and see all these stupid ideas you guys come with, up with. So make sure to drop a comment if you have a good idea for a name and a picture. And we'll jump into the next game and see how it goes. All right, we got our first, uh, we got our first game here. We got Spicoli, apparently. <laughs> uh, Collateral, Mars, and Mike, another team. So it's quite early in the morning. I mean, for me, it's quite early. It's nine o'clock, but uh, you know, we're vibing. My voice might sound a little bit different to you guys, and I apologize. <laughs> when I just wake up, my voice is like super, super low compared to normal. Gonna get a flip reset probably. He missed it. I'll pop this up middle. Hopefully, my teammate can follow. It's kind of behind me, but he should still be able to, still be able to get there. And they own gold. <laughs> nice play. It was good of him to catch that and not just throw it at the net because it was pretty far away. I tried to pop that in a spot where Spicoli could follow. And even though he was pretty far away, he did read the fact that he could get there first. Especially because Collateral was sitting so patiently in net. I think Collateral, if he was more proactive, he could have pushed up there and that play would have been thrown away because my teammate was right behind me. But either way. But since uh, Mike challenged like that or pushed up, I could just keep the ball pressure. One thing, I'm just wait waiting for Mike to clear the ball. Get by my teammate. Good challenge. Grab that boost so that way Mike has nothing to go with. Oh, I shouldn't have pushed forwards. That's okay, though. I hear that Mike's up, so just want to make sure he might make a touch early. I'm going to watch the passes here. Collateral still last, so I see that, and I want to make sure that I uh, get behind, wait for Mike to go back. Good pinch. My teammate's in the corner, so I'd be a little bit careful with this touch. I make sure it rolls around. And good 50-50 for my teammate. Right here, I can cut this off because Mike's on the side. And maybe he can make a shot. Close. It's a good bump, though, and actually might be a goal now. He's taking his time, and he messed it up. So now I think my teammate can get back, and he messed it up. He could have probably scored that, though. That was definitely open. That bump was really good. Get a nice clear over the top. Really make sure you get those half volleys with the clear. Makes it hard for them to clear, and it should be open here. Um, in those situations, when the ball is bouncing off the top, you want to make sure you stay low off the wall, and then boost up into the power. If you just sit right where the ball is going to bounce, it's going to be really hard to get the timing down. So the faster you can move up into that half volley in the clear, it makes it easier for those backboard clears like that. Right here, I'm going to flick it over him. See my teammate wants to follow it. Definitely could have taken more time, but Collateral gets a free clear because of it now. And right here, I'm going to pop into the corner in an awkward spot so that even if Mike goes, it's not too dangerous. It's a good bump, though. Once again, good pressure for my teammate to push up and cover that position. I see the early touch from my teammate or the early attempt. Collateral's going to get a clear to make sure I stay close. But it's actually probably going to be a goal here. That's exactly why I wanted to back off because that back foot from my teammate is just going to pop it over my head. Um... Or not the uh, not not my uh, not not my teammate the opponent. Uh, that situation where my teammate like threw the ball out, I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was gonna try and stay with it. And those situations where the ball's super far away from the goal, usually it's best to just hold possession. That's what we try to do at SSL. Good try. Teammate is not recovering. He could have probably recovered and tried to make a pass out middle, but we're gonna wait for Mike to see what he does. He missed. So let's just take a shot towards target. In that situation, it should be free. So big miss from uh, from Mike in the corner here. He could have taken more time, just sat on the wall and let let himself read the ball out first instead of just jumping immediately. Because when the ball jumps off the or hits off the roof, it does cut, like shockingly, you know, move really fast. A good good 50 from the opponent. Um, it moves pretty fast down off the wall and that can or off the ceiling and that can be really really like throw you off. And it's better to just wait and read that and take your time. Uh, just make sure you get a good solid touch. You know, and, and as high, as you get higher in the ranks, um, you're gonna want to like hold onto the ball with like an air dribble touch or something. I could go for that early, but at the same time, we're up a goal. Don't need to like really force anything. Maybe pop across. Good try for my teammate to read that. I'll pop around one since he's challenging early. Really shouldn't turn on those, but he's only got 10 seconds, so it makes sense. And so far, I've noticed that these players are pretty demo heavy. Could have been really dangerous here. Still could be really dangerous. So I'm going to immediately boost back down to the floor, and that way I can turn around earlier. That would have been really dangerous if I didn't get back, so I used the last little bit of boost to turn on that, on that dime. 
to be able to make sure I pop the ball over. And there's no way that I could really make a solid touch, so what I do is just double pop to the height of the ball, and that pops it over the opponent trying to make the second shot. But a pretty solid game for to start off here. We got uh, one GC2 player on the other team, and uh, I actually have uh, points turned off right now, so I don't know where we're at. I should probably turn it back on. We were at 16.02, though, as you saw at the beginning, and uh, let's see if I turn it back on where we're at. So this is something that only works on uh, PC. So if you're a console player and you see what I just opened up there, don't worry about it. It's just a little thing. Let's see if I got a good amount of points there. 1611. So we actually got nine points. It's pretty good. And it makes sense because the other player, the other team had a GC2 on it. So we're actually four points away from moving up into GC2. All right, we got our second game here. We actually got a, quite a lower lobby here. We got 1500s all around. Um, Sergeant Dilmac and Razor Pika with Wolfie on my team. Wolfie's definitely the lowest ranked because that makes sense because I'm the highest ranked in, this, in the uh, lobby. And that tends to happen. Even in my uh, top 100 games, when I'm the highest ranked, I'm always with the player who's the lowest. Decent clear. Wolfie's pretty aggressive, but should work out. If I go early here, I can make maybe make a 50-50. Teammate went for the back corner boost instead of staying with the ball, but Sergeant is super far back anyway. Decent try. Good 50-50. Make sure he had to, he definitely had to hit that had to hit that ball right here. I'm gonna stay with this to confuse Sergeant and stay with it again. Pop him off. The teammate can go take the ball. You gotta be a little bit careful because I'm low boost here, but this boost could spawn and I can stay, stay pressured. Good. Should be a finish, maybe? Close. Good. Okay, he's up, so I'm just gonna back off. Oh, my teammate bumped me. But if he has any boost, he can probably push up and I'll get the back corner. Okay, he wants the back, back corner too. There we go. Good 50 50. I knew that that shot was gonna come in. I'll make a shot towards target, see if Sergeant Dilmac wants to make a touch. Make a pop off the back. Good placement or uh, positioning from the opponent. I could beat them there. I'm just gonna wait for his touch though, because I knew it was gonna be pretty. Okay, I don't know what that guy was doing. Get the demo if I can. Good block or good, uh, good defense from the, the block. Once again, a little bit of a soft touch from my teammate, but he could finish this off. Nice job. So it kind of worked out. He could he could have been challenged in a poor position though, because if Razor just kept going, he kind of slowed, slowed down and let him you know pop it around Sergeant, but. It's a great air dribble into the into the top uh, crossbar and pinch it in. So far, so good. We got a minute and a half through the game. Make sure I clear to the right because the opponent is going to the back left corner, and uh, the fifty fifty was looking pretty poor that side too. And do the pinch might come out? So I'm just trying to catch this wall in the corner. Pop around the one, stay close. Pop it over one, see if he makes a good save. And he panicked right there. He could have probably popped it over or dro driven past the ball. The ball wasn't moving fast in Supersonic. Uh, obviously, the ball can move faster than Supersonic. If you didn't know that, there's a point at which you can't even catch up to the ball. I'm sure you've noticed that. Um, but in this situation, he definitely could have boosted back and gotten ahead of the ball. It's a decent touch, actually. He keeps, keeps possession, but Wolfie can stay with it. And at that point, I'm going to just bail for boost. Let him do the air dribble play. Good. Should be open here. Oh, he stole it! <laughs> what a steal. I don't think he meant to do that. He was just kind of flipping out, and I just kind of hit it behind him. I thought he was going to sit still. A lot of uh, players in my rank, if there's an open left side, he would probably stay on the right side for me to shoot left. Then he drove in, in front of that part, which kind of spooked me, but it worked out. We're up with two goals anyway at that, at that time. I'm not sure where Wolfie went, but to be right, I should be able to beat him here and then follow up. The way that I flipped into that made me be able to drive immediately. So now Wolfie has a free touch off this corner to be able to push in here. Good fake. I like the way that Wolfie's playing. He's playing for possession and and uh, not like over over committing. There was that one weird play that he made um, a while ago where he like tried to touch the ball when I was in net, but just a little bit of a lack of awareness. See the guy turning? It's a good play. Should be all right though. It's gonna bounce down, and both of them try to read it up. Go around the one player and then turn around. Right here, it should be basically open, but a little bit awkward because he's going for the demo. And good try from Wolfie. I'll be back though. Really early, uh, really early aerial. Good fake though, and Wolfie covered it because he took so long to make that aerial. My teammate was able to support me. That's a good try. I'm gonna leave that boost for my teammate. Ball. Oh no, he did the thing again. Okay, <laughs> okay, we're good. So that's the thing that you don't want to do is like hit it back like that in an awkward spot where your teammate's trying to cover it. Pop around Pika, force them to try and collect the ball, and that way I can get the boost instead. See if Wolfie wants it. Good first touch. Lots of time, so he takes. Let's the ball bounce instead. Awkward play though. I don't want to go right now because they could make a touch. Pop it around him. I'll go immediately because the opponent is still pushing back. 
Big overcommit for my teammate, but we're up three goals, and hopefully, you know, he doesn't make a fast play. Once again, he kind of slowed it down, and then you're going for a pinch or something. What is going on? Good try from Wolfie. He kind of pre-jumped it. He's getting excited, you know, playing crazy plays. Good play to the corner. Should be my, my ball now. I'll wait for Sergeant to go for the, the play or get close. I'll just watch it. Watch. Let him watch it go in. <laughs> he shouldn't have made that touch to own goal. So then I just forced him to watch it by just like getting next to him and let the ball roll in. It's kind of, it was kind of BM, not going to lie, but it's all good. They ended up leaving. It was a good game though. My teammate played really well with positioning and, and uh, you know, mechanics and stuff. And we'll move on to the last game. It should be GC2 here with 1620. Got another nine points. And what? Really? For real. Okay, well, I guess, because I know that every rank is, like, like on the 15th, so I'm surprised that it's not. Maybe it would be a little bit higher. All right, for this game, we got Sergeant on our team, and uh, we've got Skynes, <laughs> Paint, I guess. I have no idea. And Legit Titan, who is a Twitch streamer. I wonder if he is going to know that it's me and check it on his stream. We will never know, because <laughs> I can't check while I'm watching. We'll see if I can catch this. My teammate's probably there, too, but I want to catch it. Pop it over the one. Pumping him a little bit too, so that's a free touch for my teammate. Could probably take a shot. Good fake, but he could have made a shot there and pressured. Since there's two players in that, there's a good chance that the fake's not going to work. If I go immediately, I could pop it over that player as well. Sometimes you really want to, you know, weigh your options of whether or not you should, like, go for a fake play. Or, like, right here, I know that that, that, that play is not enough of a back pass. But sorry, I, sorry, I cut off my, my train of thought. Like, when you've got two players in net, there's a good chance that a fake play is not really going to work. You've got two players, you got to fake at once. And because there's two players, they have the confidence to just go for the ball. Um, so that in that situation, like, going for the fake isn't going to really work. And that back pass, once again, just wasn't strong enough. Not not solid enough to really trust the uh, the teammate to push up. Wait for him to make this touch. It's a decent bump, but I can stay with this if I can move back. Even get a clear here around the... Oh, I shouldn't have done that because my teammate wasn't ready. And it's a good shot to the top right. The situation right there, like, I didn't clear it far to the, far enough to the left. I could have just waited for the bounce. There wasn't anybody really pressuring that much. Even if AS, ASDF uh, paint make a touch, it's not, like, that dangerous. Should be all right. My teammate should be able to get it. Oh, they saved it. Well, that's all right. <laughs> See, I'm pre-jumping, so what I'm going to do instead is going to pop it once and then hit to the side. Good, good play by Titan to get into the ball, though. So my teammate's super out of position. Like, he's just not really, like, ready for the next play. Decent touch, though. No, teammate, don't bump me. Good save, though. I'm just letting them do this t these touches. It's it's not really that useful, and they're kind of just like playing. They're, they're just playing early pressure game, and what I'm gonna do is just bump this guy in because it's gonna throw off his teammate. Should be a shot down tar down down the, the the wall here, and should be open. So in those situations where people are just being really no like a big nuisances and kind of doing nothing with the ball, you just gotta find these openings. And my teammate didn't really see that. He was going to probably hit that to the left. And I just saw the opening. So I just want to take the shot. Um, this ASDF paint guy. I got to be really aware that he's going to stay near the ball. And in that situation, booming the ball more is better. I know that I talk about a lot. Of, I talk a lot about like holding on to the ball. One player is just trying to barrel in like this. And trying to make touches. You got to go for the, the early early clear sometimes to start scaring them and making them back off. Like here, right here, I'm just going to go for the bump. Make him have to pop. That way my teammate can get a better challenge. Still didn't make a great touch. Should be alright though. My teammate should be back. And there's the clear. So early pressure once again from Paint. Trying to make that touch. Teammate, I mean, the opponent kind of bumped me into the position. He didn't demo me. So he just kind of popped me forward. And that's going to be an open goal here. And because of that, Titan left early. I'm not even sure why. We still had two minutes left. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I, uh, I think this should be our game to get GC2. Which is exciting. Which means we only have two more rank ups until we're in Super Sonic Legend. So let's see if that's the big reveal here. Psych! Really? Okay, we gotta do another one. I mean, if we don't make it in the next one, we definitely have to just end it here. But, <laughs> but that was a quick game anyway. So we'll do one more final game and see if we uh, get the final win. All right, for the last game, we've got Flamengo and Equinox or Equinox, whatever, however you want to say it, and Zerf on my team. We got Flamengo, who's like 1672, so he's definitely GC2. Um, and my, everyone might actually be GC2 in this lobby except for me, so just because of how the ranks work. You can have a pretty big overlap. Okay, big clear, but I can catch this on the wall. You gotta, you gotta make sure that because of that touch, see how it like recalled my car a little bit? Push the ball towards the uh, the net here. Flamingo should probably make a turn. Left the ball for his teammate. 
Good 50 50 though. Could be open here if Zerus just makes a touch. Good play over the one. Should be open. I was ready for him to just uh, pop the ball into the player or or wait for that backboard touch, which is really good. So I want to make sure I cover both options and in a position where I can still cover the ball because I know that Equinox is pretty far away um, in that back corner. I see the guy in the corner trying to make pressure or I hear him at least. That goal, that, that, that situation back there could have been a goal due to me. I think I like didn't expect the guy to just turn. Right here, this could be a good play off the backboard. I'll go for the touch. Knew that he might miss, so I'm just trying to read it myself. And if, like, since I'm committing to it, I'm just going to make sure I read the ball and nothing else. There's no reason in trying to predict anything. And uh, because he missed, I get a free open goal. But obviously, if I went, it would have been an overcommit. Um, but we're up goal one goal, so a little more confident to go for it. Knew my teammate was covering me. See my teammate going back corner. Make a touch that so makes it a little bit more awkward. His clear would have been a little more dangerous for us if I uh, didn't make a touch. It's a good shot. Good play. Bad touch from the opponent. Means he's going to go middle. My teammate might be able to want to go for this if he wants. Ends up backing off, so I'm going to turn early. Okay, never mind. Let Zerf stay with it. Good chip. Good try. Can't really make that, so I'm going to back off because Flamingo might make a shot towards target. Which he does. It's like Zerf doesn't really trust me at all. He, he's like panicking that it's going towards target at all in any situation. It's a good demo though. Good demo from Zerf as well. It's going to be an open net. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. There's a demo derby out here. I'm not sure how Flamengo wasn't ready for that. He kind of he was backward. That's why. And he tried to turn on it. He made a really wide turn and ended up missing the ball. So my teammate ended up punishing and just getting the... I don't even think he tried to demo him. I think he just like... It just ended up being a demo because of the, the situation. Make a shot towards target. And there we go. Equinox wasn't quite ready for it. He went for the back corner, and I knew that in that situation, I had some space. Once I saw him move away, I just waited for the ball to get a half volley, and then popped it to the right side. I wasn't able to react in time. He was, he was a little bit scared of the top left, which is true. Definitely a, a common place to shoot that because of the fact that the ball is rolling away from the top left. So it's a lot easier to get power to bounce off. And Zerf just didn't move, so <laughs> we get scored on. Perfect. Right here, Flamingo knows I have the ball, so I'm just going to pop it up nice and high. Once again, he was kind of in the in the net so that's why i pop it off the the backboard same with this guy he's in the net so now my teammate has a free touch good try though gotta watch out for the bumps like i said watch out for the bumps see my teammate won't, might want the back corner so i'm gonna be a little bit careful here pop the ball around oh should be all right though i bump uh the opponent that's trying to catch up back to the ball big throw away from my the opponent now my teammate's up the backboard he stopped moving again that's open for me, so I'm just going to shoot it. I don't What's going on with this guy? I don't know if he's... He's definitely not lagging. He's got 12 pigs, so... I'm not sure. This should be uh, should be pretty much game, though. I don't think... Uh, if we get one more goal, they'll probably forfeit. But really, honestly, my teammate's been pretty solid. I don't know what this guy's doing, though. But he just keeps stopping moving. I'm not sure what's happening. Let's see what Flamingo does in the corner. He's going to clear it to me. Make a shot towards target on the backboard. Go for immediate touch. Should be a shot towards target. And there we go. So in that situation, I knew the ball was going to roll out uh, of the backboard. And Flamingo was overcommitted on the side. So I just made a pop towards backboard and immediately jumped up. Equinox wasn't ready to ju uh, jump up and read it fast enough. And we get another goal. So we're, we're double double the scoreline. I think we're, yeah, we're like more than double the scoreline from my, my teammate. I'm doing a little bit too much this game. I, I sometimes don't know like how much I should do. And even though we lost the game last episode, you know... I'm trying not to just, you know, fully take over and win every game, obviously. I know people think I am. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just trying to play around what they're doing and play off the pressure. Really overcommitted for my teammate, but should be all right. Just wait for the uh, the drop of the ball. Make a pop up. Really touch from Flamingo, but not too worried about it. I'll leave the ball for my teammate. I can now make a play. And because these boost pads are open in middle, I'll just drive down this line and get a few pads. Good bump. To be open now off that bump and there we go it's probably gonna be game i don't think they're gonna stick around with four goals to make in 28 seconds there we go it's a pretty solid game and my teammate played pretty well even though he was like kind of you know <laughs> non-existent literally because he was gone at some points of the game but this should be hopefully our rank up match i'm not sure what's going on i thought that 16 15 would have been the uh the rank up but we're at 16 38 now that hopefully should be gc2 and there's the promotion so we're finally in the third highest rank and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and the series so far. This is episode number 40, like I said. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.